Welcome back to Wanderlust for Life here on YouTube. Today I'm gonna to show you what's in my carry-on bag. So I travel a lot and sometimes it's kind of confusing what you should take with you on the plane versus what you should pack in your checked bag or just your big trolley because the trolley, once you put it up in the overhead bin, it's kind of annoying to get it down and you're disrupting everybody on the plane and yeah. So you just wanna keep your one bag with you under your seat so that you can get to it whenever you want. And I'm gonna show you how I do mine. So first up, the bag that I use now is the PackSafe CitySafe uh, CX. That is this bag. Um, I used the old version for a long time, which was smaller than this. So I've upgraded recently to this. This was a gift from PackSafe, um, but it's an upgrade. We've been using the brand for about seven years now. So I actually fell more in love with this bag than I expected. So this is what I carry on, no matter if I check a bag or if I take a trolley, a wheelie bag with me on the plane. So what do I include? The first thing I include and what you should always include is what you don't want to put in a checked bag. So if you don't want things mishandled or maybe there's a lot of stuff that you travel with that aren't allowed in the bags. So anything with a battery that can't come out, you have to take with you on the plane. Um, like there's just a lot of rules nowadays. So I take all my camera stuff with me on the plane. Now I could wear this separately. Um, this is the Peak Design 5 liter. I think it's called sling bag. Um, not sponsored. <laughs> I just really, really love their designs. Um, all of my camera equipment is in here except the tripods. The tripods I would put in the check bag. Put all my lenses, cameras, batteries, everything in here. So this will be the first thing that I put in the bag. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I pack. So this is pretty much the first or second thing I put in the bag. The first might be the water bottle just because it fits better. I always recommend carrying a water bottle with you. Fill it up in the airport. If there's not a fill station, just go to one of the kiosks where they sell food and at least in Schiphol Airport here in Amsterdam, I, they've even offered to do it for me. So I put this in the side pocket right here. There you go. And then I'll put my camera bag right in the bottom. Just push that in there. Okay, so that's literally the first thing that I do. And then if you do the front pocket, what we have in here, and things that I think everybody should carry with them, is a tiny little notebook and a pen. You always need a pen, always, always, always carry a pen with you. So that just goes in the front pocket. And I have medium length hair, so I always carry hair clips and um, another type of clip. And usually I'll also do a um, hair tie because you just never know what you're gonna want on a flight. I have earbuds. On shorter flights, so we mainly travel to Europe. So on shorter flights, I just take regular earbuds. Um, I don't feel the need to have uh, noise canceling headphones if I'm just flying for like two or three hours. So I just put this in the front pocket. Tissues, always, always, always carry tissues. You never know when you're gonna need tissues. My wallet goes in the front pocket. Um, this is a secure bag. I didn't mention that, but um, this whole point of pack safe bags are to protect your stuff. So I can kind of lock the front part. So this is pretty secure. Oh, one thing I forgot, but I always add in here is a lip balm. You always want a lip balm. I think no matter what, no matter where you're traveling to, in your day bag, in your pocket, no matter what, always have lip balm. The other thing that'll go in the front pocket, if I'm doing long haul flights, so we have one coming up. So basically I prep this bag, how I'm going to pack it for our next flight. And there'll be some hints in the video. So if you figure out where uh, one of our com flights coming up is going to, leave it in the comments below. If you wanna guess right now, go ahead and leave it in the comments below as well. But eye mask, and this one has kind of holes for your eyes, which I like. Um, we also have um, a couple other kinds, but this is just the one that I had handy. So let's just put that in there. All right, and the big part, after the camera, 
My sunglasses, no matter where I travel to, I try to remember my sunglasses because sunny days, yeah. And I wear a prescription, so it's not like I can just pick up another one on the way. A reusable bag, uh, everywhere I go, always take a reusable bag. And if it fits, <laughs> This is a travel adapter. I love this one. I've been using it for years and it just, even if I'm in Europe, I can pop out the European one and it gives me a plug and two USB ports to charge from. So from one plug, I can actually have three things charging. And I think that's really important, especially when you have all the tech that we do. So pop that in there. What else? Oh, so there's two pockets in the front here. This is my external battery. This is a solar charged one. Um, you can also plug it in and charge it traditionally, um, but you can also, if you have a window seat, you can just put this in the window and then pull the blinds down and this will charge while you're on the flight, assuming you're on a daytime flight. And it also gives you a flashlight and there's two out ports. So there's one on each side and then you can charge it from the input. I love this thing. I've had this for four years. This is my lifeline. So this will go in one of those pockets. The cable for it, obviously very important. And then if I'm in Europe, um, I will take the regular phone charger because this is a uh, fast charging, which is always really helpful. So I just put that in the same pocket. The next pocket, I have this little tin. Um, I just found it somewhere, so I'm not sure where you can get it. But it has the little medicines that you might want on the road. So it has maybe some aspirin, some um, chewable Pepto-Bismol, Tylenol, like whatever you might need, I put in there. Also caffeine pills, that's a tip for if you go to conferences. <laughs> Next thing is if I'm traveling somewhere that I've been before or I know uses kind of reusable uh, transit cards, here in Amsterdam we have the um, Ove chip card. In London they have the Oyster card, so this is actually an Oyster card carrier. <laughs> but in here, for now, for our next big trip, I have the Octopus card. If you know what an Octopus card is for, tell me down below. I also have a different kind of dollars in here for when we get to that destination because we have leftover from last time. Put that in the same pocket. In the protected pocket, there's an RFID protected pocket. I put my passport, which is already in an RFID protected um, cover, also by PackSafe that we also bought like seven years ago. So slip that in there. Going with trying to be better for the planet. Yes, I know flying is bad, but you know, you do what you can with how, with what fits in your lifestyle. And so what we have is um, a reusable straw, but also chopsticks and they're harder to get out so I won't get them out, but knife, fork and spoon are all in here. And I just slip that in the same pocket. Zip that up. So in the back pocket, oh, hold on. Woo, all right, <laughs> I had to get my laptop. So this bag fits my laptop. I think this is a 13 inch, but I think it actually fits up to a 15 inch. And it just slides right in the back, love that. And then in the same pocket, this is my Kindle on longer flights. Again, I'll take this and I actually put it in, <laughs> this is like a makeup brush bag that I just never used and my Kindle fits in it perfectly. <laughs> that goes in there. And then if I have a guidebook, I'll put the guidebook in there because this is just inspirational reading for when we're on the plane. This is a big hint. So if you don't know now, I'm not sure you're going to. All right, so that mostly fills the bag. And we only have a couple more things to put in here literally a couple. So on longer flights, I do take my noise canceling headphones and that's my Sony headphones. This is just so big. That's why I don't take them on the shorter flights, but this should fit in here. Okay. Sometimes I pack it and it fits perfectly the first time and sometimes it doesn't. So fingers crossed it'll close this time. And then a sweater. So this is just a lighter sweater that I have. Um, 
Sometimes I'll just wear this on the plane, which is probably the better idea, but if I don't, I just put it on top. And then close it. And the cool thing is they have these great zippers that you just kind of lock together and you can connect it like that. I use this mainly in the airport. If we're just sitting somewhere, um, I use that feature. Also, I said the front has a little locking thing. It just kind of slides into a loop that makes it harder to get out. You can't pull it out. And then my favorite feature of this bag, my last bag, and pretty much every PackSafe bag that I've ever had, because um, Sean's had three, I think now, um, is this mechanism that you can make it so it goes around a stable object. You just unlock the latch and then you pull it down, take it off, and then you just put it back in once you wrap it around something and lock it again. Super handy. Also, the back has a slide through, so if you do take a wheelie bag, I always forget what they're called, a wheelie bag, a trolley, rolly bag, whatever, um, you can put it through that, which is super, super helpful. Um, my last pack safe bag did not have that, so I think that's really important to me. You can also stuff the straps in here um, if you do put this in the overhead bin and it's not something that you keep under the seat with you. I'm short, so I have no problem putting something under the seat. And the last thing is if we're doing a long haul flight, so you have to have a neck pillow. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. So I had this little um, carabiner. So I just hook this on wherever you find appropriate. So I've tried it, because like I said, I'm prepping for my other trip. You can put it up here, and it can just clip right onto that locking mechanism, or it's a very small carabiner. Or I've actually found that it, it seems to do pretty well if you put it with the uh, latch on the back because that works too. But it just preference really. This neck rest, I got on Amazon. It was really hard to find. And the only reason I bought this one is because I think in Hong Kong or Singapore, Sean got one because he didn't have one and on the flight over he realized how much he really needed it. So he bought one in the airport and it was so good that I love the features. And I'll show you, this is kind of a bonus. I love the features so much that I had to find a neck pillow that had the same features. The only thing is this is a really tight fit. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get it back in here. Ooh. So it's memory foam, it's not bead. And it has this strap on the front, so it doesn't slide around on your neck and it's flexible, so you don't feel like you're being choked. It just kind of keeps your head still. But I just, I love the squishiness of it. It's so, it's so comfortable. Um, so anyway, I will leave a link to pretty much everything on here in the description below. If you want to see like how I pack my camera bag, how I pack my uh, checked luggage, let us know in the comments below uh, if you have other suggestions for videos also let us know and i really hope you enjoyed this video it's just a little look into how you know i prepare for my travels because i have a bunch coming up and in the next couple of videos you can look forward to let's see we have oslo coming up oslo norway very excited about that and then an island off of italy if you want to guess which island comment below. And then after that, Strasbourg, France. Um, we'll be doing a food tour, probably a wine tasting and all kinds of stuff. That one's a little girl's trip. Not a little girl's trip, a girl's trip. It's a short girl's trip. And then after that, we are going to Hong Kong, if you couldn't figure that out by the guidebook. Anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching. Like this video if you did enjoy it and comment below if you wanna see more and thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye!